Hello, today I will be showing you how to use the branch target inside of iMindMap 6. The branch target is great because we can now create branches, box branches and relationship arrows directly from the same target without having to go up to the main toolbar to switch our tool. Let's get started. By hovering over the central idea, you can see the new target appears. We have a red option to draw branches, we have an orange option to draw box branches and we have a green option to draw relationship arrows. I am going to draw a standard branch. Just click on the red, hold button down, drag out and release when you're happy. And there we have created our first branch. To create additional branches, you simply hover your mouse over the end of any branch and the branch target will appear. By clicking and dragging from the red area, we can create another branch and another branch, and so on. Using the orange area, we can create box branches. Here I've created one, and here there's another, and here's the third. Using the green area, we can draw a relationship arrow between two branches like so. And here's another example. The blue area on the branch target allows us to reposition and move the branch to wherever we desire. Just let go to set that position. What is so great about this branch target is that it allows us to create many types of branches without interrupting the flow of creation.